But that was not always the case with Afghan women. From the 19th century and through the 20th century the rulers of Afghanistan consistently attempted to lessen women's restrictions in the country. Among them was King Amanullah, who ruled from 1919 to 1929 and made some of the more noteworthy changes in an attempt to modernize the country. King Amanullah, promoted freedom for women in the public sphere in order to lessen the control that patriarchal families had over women. U.S. National Security Advisor Brzezinski flew to Pakistan to set about rallying resistance. He wanted to arm the Mujahideen without revealing America's role. On the Afghan border near the Khyber Pass, he urged the soldiers of God to redouble their efforts. We know of their deep belief in God, and we are confident that their struggle will succeed. That land over there is yours. You'll go back to it one day because your fight will prevail and you'll have your homes and your mosques back again because your cause is right and God is on your side. The purpose of coordinating with the Pakistanis from a U.S. law enforcement official that they are saying it is evident that this is a terrorist-related attack. And uh, among the key targets, key people that they're looking at is Osama bin Laden. It was just last Friday that the U.S. State Department put out a worldwide caution to American citizens traveling abroad and also to U.S. government facilities. And they said that terrorism knows no limits, whether it's on U.S. soil or outside. So they're certainly looking at that as a possibility. What I'm also hearing from my uh, officials at FAA, at the Federal Office, key people that they're looking at is Osama bin Laden. It was just last Friday that the U.S. State Department put out a worldwide caution to American citizens traveling abroad and also to... Rita Cosby is on the phone with us, and Rita, I understand you have a lot of new information. Yeah, John, I've just been told from a U.S. law enforcement official that they are saying it is evident that this is a terrorist-related attack. And uh, among the key targets, key people that they're looking at is Osama bin Laden. It was just last Friday that... Baghdad tonight, under heavy bombardment, on the day the war started. American and British troops are in action on land, sea, and in the air. Too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. Moving too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. Was moving too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. Syrian armed forces are liberating and retaking towns from jihadists in the north Hama province with the support of Russian warplanes. RT's Murad Gazdiev filed this report from the front line. Syrian troops have had little to celebrate recently, but that is changing. <laughs>
Driving down the road in a truck of peace on a busy highway. Driving down the road in a truck of peace. Who do you think we'll bump into today? Hello. I wonder if you would be so kind as to do me a massive favor. You see this perfectly innocent can of Pepsi? Well, do you think you could go and like hand it over to that nice policeman standing over there? I would really appreciate it. Sure. Oh, thanks. Bye. <sighs> I don't fuck around. Oh no, guys, I think we're gonna need to try and brainstorm some new battle strategies. We already have a battle strategy. You get in a truck and you drive over fucking some Islamophobes! Ah, uh, unfortunately, that is not gonna be an option for much longer. <laughs> Western fascist governments are introducing new policies which will enable the racist, rapist, white supremacist cops to shoot jihadi drivers on sight. The racist bastards! You know, that seems a little bit unworkable to me. I mean, how will they know it's actually a jihadi driver until after he's run over like a bunch of pedestrians or whatever? And even if somebody does drive a truck through a crowd of people, how are the police gonna know whether or not it was deliberate? I mean, like, maybe the driver had a stroke or whatever. Islam, to me, means that you can have a stroke in any car in which you are in, on the land on which you are on. Be that as it may, right, the real problem is that local councils or whatever have started installing pillars and benches and concrete blocks all over pedestrian precincts, so it's going to be increasingly difficult to drive a truck through any location with a high infidel population density. Aww. Aww. Those Islamophobic bastards! Exactly! And that is why we're gonna need to come up with some new strategies that don't involve a fucking truck. I want you to think outside the box this time, guys. What is the last thing the enemy would expect us to do? Uh, take all the women and put them on the front line. Oh my god, that is brilliant! Fucking put all the people least able to defend themselves in the direct line of FIRE! But this is a strategy that would rely on the assumption that racist Islamophobic fascists, who as we all know are subhuman monsters with no social conscience, will be disinclined to use any form of violence due to their deep-seated acknowledgement that it is never ethically acceptable to harm a woman. Oh, you mean like the way Hamas use children as human shields because they know with absolute certainty, right, that Israeli Jews would be extremely reluctant to deliberately cause harm to an innocent Palestinian in like, even though Islam clearly states that Jews are the lowest of creatures. Hey, wait a minute. Did you just plagiarize all of that from a Sam Harris podcast? No. Fuck you, Jekyll and Glenn! Okay, then. Let's have all the ladies up here at the front, please. And all of you men, if you could move to the back now. Uh, today, please. I don't see anybody moving. Uh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Uh, where would you like me to stand? Oh my god, what are you doing here? I thought you were dead. <laughs> you just assumed my mortality! Okay, I'm sorry. I just thought that you'd like shot yourself in the head like a couple of episodes ago. So? So, I thought that you might not be alive anymore? Being alive or dead isn't actually binary, it's a spectrum. Oh, man. It's okay to be cis, dead, trans, dead, alive, queer, Schrodinger, cause death is a beautiful spectrum.
Maybe I just need a little bit more time to learn that literally every fucking human characteristic is determined by a sliding scale of fluidity of how strongly the person in question identifies with the label assigned to them. No! Not every human characteristic! Every person who is a fascist is a person who is a fascist! So, like, hypothetically, if you call someone a fascist, right, but that person doesn't actually identify as a fascist, then what? <laughs> Did somebody mention, like, fascists? Ugh, who the fuck are you? Like, Louise is the name, collecting Nazi scalps is the game. Now let me share with you some completely innovative top secret expert battle training techniques. Oh, brilliant! We need all the help we can get around here. Like, firstly, you're gonna need to cover your face and dress from head to toe in black. Uh, excuse me? I think you'll find I've been covering my face and dressing in black for 14 years. And like, you're gonna need some kind of a black flag. Oh, come on, now you're just taking the piss. Next, you're like, gonna need some high-grade weapons. Like an AK-47 and some sort of improvised explosive device. No, I mean like a workout glove with some weight sewn into it, or like an empty wine bottle, or like a sock with a bike lock hidden inside. And how exactly are we supposed to fight the disbelievers wherever we find them with our fucking sock? Ah, fuck, you little bitch! Hey, you can really take a punch, can't you? <coughs> Whoa, this is brilliant! <coughs> Holy shit! <coughs> so, like, what other tactical defense techniques would you like to share with us? <coughs> Oh my god, what is that? Is that like sarin gas or something? It's like the natural fumes from my saggy, festering, hairy gash. Okay, okay, I must admit that is pretty effective. Guys, please join me in welcoming our new member. Yay! Driving down the road in a truck of peace on a busy highway. Driving down the road in a truck of peace. Who do you think we'll bump into today? I'm not going to attack you personally, but Islam to me means talking about things about which I know nothing about. Like Islam to me is the most feminist religion. Oh my God!